A who, a who, a who, a who. Hi everyone, Hoothany Who Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. And it's time for a review of the new Gaspar Auger record, Escapades. This is a new solo effort from producer and composer Gaspar Auger, creator of the 2010 soundtrack for the film Rubber, which is actually a kind of fun movie that I recommend. But for the most part, Gaspar is known as <laughs> one half of the legendary French house duo Justice, who are long overdue for a brand new record, but I suppose uh, some solo material in the meantime will do, especially since many of the aesthetics and influences flowing throughout this record are not too far removed from that of your average Justice album, especially their last one, Woman. On Escapades, Gaspar is really taking it back to the 70s, a time of progressive rock, progressive synth, with maybe, uh, you know, some splashes, touches of disco here and there. Believe me when I say it is very, very, very European, and sounds like the soundtrack to an obscure sci-fi film that could easily gain a post-post ironic cult following thanks to its terrible special effects and extravagant background music. At this point, I would like to point out that Escapades is not really just a celebration of the music of this era, but I think a celebration of the synthesizer itself. Listening through this record numerous times, it sounds like Gaspar went through the painstaking process of synthesizing and crafting uh, personally pretty much every sound that has gone into this LP. And to an extent, it does pay off, especially on the rhythm side where the bass lines are about as rock solid and grooving as they are on any Justice record. The beats are quite hard hitting too. Now, obviously, Escapades is not as geared toward the dance floor as any Justice record is, but if the thumping kicks and glistening chords on force majeure or the driving synth bass that has a, a grinding tone to it on the song, hey, don't get your blood pumping at least a little bit, uh, maybe you should consider calling your heart doctor. So yes, there are most definitely quality vibes and beats throughout this LP, but at this point I have to kind of come down hard and quick on this record because the appeal of it I don't think really runs much deeper than that. With this project, sounding like a very loosely penned soundtrack. There are numerous song structures that leave a lot to be desired, as well as the album flow overall. There are tracks here that are really going nowhere fast, songs that end abruptly, plus nothing connects in a significant way across the LP, so it's like I'm listening to one bridge to nowhere after another. For as epic a first song as Force Majeure is, uh, what's absolutely not epic is its totally unceremonious fade out just before 3.30. Europa brings a pretty dark and spooky vibe to the LP, but for the most part what this song sounds like is a very short and I guess brooding passage, a very synth heavy passage from a Pink Floyd record, uh, not any more, not any less, but you know with like no significant payoff or strong lead vocal to carry all of it. Captain has a really heartwarming melody and chord progression that I like a lot, but uh, the only significant change this track undergoes within its three minutes is uh, it switches into a minor scale at one point and then just kind of goes back. Uh, you know, not exactly edge of your seat. Plus there are numerous other tracks throughout Escapades like Casablanca that sound like uh, no much more than a passing motif. A standalone mood setter that doesn't feel particularly enhanced by anything going on before or after it. But what's worse is a load of the synth patches on this project are just like straight unappealing or ill-conceived. For as much as Gaspar is living by the synthesizer on this record, he's also dying by it at some points as well. Like the track Hey, which was a teaser to this record and had one of the most promising starts of any song here, but things go absolutely haywire once he grabs the prominent strings that play over the main theme and groove of the song. They sound great there, but then he starts soloing with them on the back end. <laughs> and honestly, uh, they kind of sound like I am hearing the tall black rubber squeaky boots from that one SpongeBob episode just like singing in my ear 
with a ton of reverb on them. It's, it's one of the worst sounds I've heard this year. What's almost more annoying are the synth leads on Lacrimoso, which, what, what am I hearing? Is this like some terrible uh, version of like a steel drum? Then around the halfway point, we have these terrible melting lead synths kind of playing underneath them. And in the last 30 seconds, I still haven't figured out what that is. Is it like laser diarrhea sputtering away noisily uh, underneath even even that. To be frank, these sounds are awful. They're terrible. Then the closing track is this attempt at an eerie and I guess more delicate vibe, but just falls monstrously short. The synth leads come off really overbearing and annoying on this track when it's actually pretty obvious uh, that it's going for something just a lot more uh, uh, finessed, something that uh, is a lot softer and sweeter. Maybe a little bit strange and curious as well, but the growling bass tones and overbearing reverb just makes it impossible to settle into this one in the way that I think it's implying it should be. But yeah, even in many of its best moments, Escapades uh, only goes so far. It only feels like a very partial reenactment or maybe more a lopsided and weak imitation of uh, the great works of Vangelis, uh, Jean-Michel Jarre, as well as Tangerine Dream. And the world of music that Gaspar is pulling from on this project uh, reaches much deeper and wider than that. But in my opinion, this record completely fails to exemplify what made this era of music so wonderful, unique, and groundbreaking, as well as massively influential to uh, another huge influence of, of his, especially on the Justice side, and that's Daft Punk. Because I enjoy many of the artists that uh, this record is pulling from, I can see what it's shooting for, but it's just really very much not there. It kind of has the vibe and the aesthetics of it for the most part, and uh, provides to that uh, somewhat of a modern punch, but beyond that, like the compositions, the album flow, the song craft just needs so much work. There are maybe a couple of highlights I could point out, like Rokumbol, for example, but uh, for the most part, only part of the way there is like the best this album has to offer. I'm feeling a light four on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Gaspar Auger forever.